So dear learners, uh, in this particular video, we will be discussing uh, the third activity of software process. So that is nothing but your uh, software validation. Okay. So in the two pre um, uh, previous uh, videos, we had already discussed about uh, the first activity uh, that is uh, software specification and the second activity was uh, software design and implementation. So now we will go for software uh, validation. So in the previous activity, we told that uh, the software will be get designed and it will be get implemented. Implemented in the sense what the software is ready with the coding part is concerned. Okay. Now an executable software is ready. Uh, in the software validation, we are going to perform uh, the validation means we will be validating the uh, software for its correctness. Okay. The software will be get checked over here. We need to execute or we need to run the software. We need to give the inputs here and we should check whether the outputs which are coming from that particular software is uh, the correct or wrong that has to be done over here that is called what software validation in very simple way okay so let's discuss with uh, the validation uh, in detail so basically software validation it's a very popularly known as verification and uh, uh, validation okay so we'll be having a separate chapter on this uh, in uh, in the coming uh, Mm, modules okay that we will discuss uh, in depth okay so uh, uh, the verification and validation is intended to show that a uh, system conforms to its specification and meets the requirements of the system customer so whenever we want to validate any software or whenever we want to check any software okay our main motto is to check whether uh, the software is going to provide the services as defined in our specification where we are going to specify that is the first stage that is what software specifications where my requirements have been defined over there okay so to say that my software has to perform like this it should provide the functionalities like this it should provide the service like this to the end users all these requirements or the functionalities or the services that uh, the software is supposed to give to the customers that will be defined in the first stage so in the third stage, we will be running that software and we will be checking that or we will be validating that whether the software is going to provide all those services as expected by the customer. So that, that, that particular process is known as what verification and uh, validation here. Okay. So it, it involves what the checking and review process and system testing. So very popularly, uh, this verification software validation is also known as what testing actually just uh, do remember uh, there, there is a very big uh, concept called software uh, testing it is a separate subject as an elective subject for all engineering uh, courses for uh, uh, especially for uh, information science and engineering and computer science and engineering that is software uh, testing it is it's also a very uh, big topic itself under the software engineering is concerned okay but basically for every software which is get designed and developed it has to undergo this uh, testing here so your testing is nothing but what validation don't get confused with these uh, wordings here so in the system testing normally it includes uh, it involves what executing the system with what test cases that are derived from the specifications of the real data to be processed by the system so in the testing normally what happens it will be done on a whole system do remember so what's the system here the system is nothing but a software system we will take the full software system the testing will be done uh, for what purpose for the purpose of what whether we will be checking here uh, the specifications with what data the real time data means uh, real time data inputs will be given as if i am a customer okay and my software will be get tested whether it is going to give output as if we have defined it in the specifications okay so for that we are going to perform what the test cases look at this particular word here okay we will be doing what the test case test cases are nothing but what test cases are nothing but uh, identifying and giving a different sort of inputs to my software okay see for example say for better understanding uh, if you have written one uh, small uh, uh, bubble sort program in a lab okay so you will be giving a different sort of uh, the inputs for your program just by giving one input you cannot say that yes my program is giving the correct output 
it may not be working with the another sort of what the inputs okay for example say when, when you are going to write a sorting program let it be an ascending order or a descending order uh, you, you need to check it for whether your program is going to sort for a uh, all positive numbers all negative numbers okay a mixture of positive and what negative numbers see there my my inputs are different here okay and my every set of inputs will create what one one different kind of test cases so that is called the test case so like that here for system testing or uh, the testing of my software so we need to define what the test cases here okay then finally testing is most commonly used in what v and v activity so basically verification and validation is nothing but performing the system testing just do remember this point so now just we will go for uh, the different stages of the testing here so here don't get confused testing is nothing but currently we are at which activity validation we are going to validate our software system is nothing but what we are going to perform the testing on my software okay so this testing will be done at three different uh, stages the first stage is what component testing second one is what system testing and third one is what acceptance uh, testing here so we will uh, discuss all these three different stages of what testing one by one so very first one is what the testing stages the first one is component testing or it's also called a development testing okay so what's the component here component is a part of your software because we have already told my software system is not a single entity it it is it's a combination of n number of different components where every component is what every individual components is nothing but it's a function or it may be an object or it may be a group of what objects or functionalities that we can call them as what the components so here every individual components have to be get tested independently that's very important so here we in the component testing a part by part of the software will be get tested that's very important okay just do remember for example say in my software if i have identified five different components all these five different components to should be get individually tested not a full software here don't get confused that is called what component testing so once the component testing is get passed means for example say i have tested all the five components now i will integrate all those components when i will integrate five components i will get what a system as a whole now i will be performing the testing on my whole software system that is what a testing of a system as a whole that will be done so whenever i will be performing a testing on the whole system my concentration will be always towards what for checking of the emergent properties so here what are these emergent properties for any software system emergent properties are nothing but some behavioral characteristics of the system so for see for example say whenever i will be talking about um, any software okay so i i i might be talking about uh, uh, the speed of the software how fast the software is going to execute okay so how how much how many transactions my software is capable to perform per second see there so here another thing is how much memory uh the optimization that can be done when my software is get what installed or it may be oh, 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 how much security and safety my software is going to provide okay how much reliable my software is what is the availability of my software is it clear what is the uh, robustness that my software is going to what provide so all such kind of uh, the characteristics which will uh, which are going to talk about the system properties they are called as what emergent properties and to check these emergent properties we are going to perform what system testing see just by checking one single component you cannot say that your whole software is good or bad is it clear so that that is not possible with the component testing when i will combine all the components i will get the system and on the whole system i need to what check okay so how we will say that uh your uh, laptop is good or bad with respect to its performance is concerned that you have to check with laptop as a whole not as an independent component like what about memory of my laptop 
what about the primary memory of my laptop, what about the cache level, what about my processor. See that individual component you cannot take and measure, is it clear? All together you have to what? Check. And then once the system testing is done on the whole uh, software system, now we will go for what? The acceptance testing, see there. So after the completion of the system testing here, always do remember, yeah, so if it is 100% uh, perfect, your software is get ready, then that software will be uh, given to the end users, that customers, then the customer will start testing with their own data, that is what, see there, testing with the customer data to check that the system meets the customer needs. See, finally here, we, we are very, it is very much essential to make sure that, okay, uh, in the acceptance testing, whether the system is going to provide the services as per the customer's expectations or not, okay, that is very important here. So that is why it is very popularly known as what? Acceptance testing. Once your software is given to the end user, once the end user will start using that software with his own real time data and if it is not giving the uh, services or functionalities in terms of the outputs as per the expectation of the end users, he may reject it. There is no question of acceptance. If everything is fine, if, if the software is providing all the services and uh, the functionalities as per the customer's expectation, then he will accept, accept, accept it and he will continue uh, the usage of the same uh, software. Then we can say that yes, the software has uh, passed that acceptance testing also, okay. So finally, today any software which is in the market, do remember that uh, it has passed through all these uh, testing, component testing, system testing and what? The acceptance uh, testing here, okay. Then finally, before going to conclusion, just have a look at one important diagram over here. So here, uh, this diagram is going to uh, give an idea of uh, how the testing uh, phases have been uh, carried out in a plan driven software process. Plan driven means that you know that, okay. So here the software development, the software process activity, especially specification, design, development, validation, all these things have been carried out in a well planned manner with a proper scheduling. That is what a plan driven, okay. So if you look at uh, the diagram over here, so just have a look at here, what are the different process activities that will be carrying out while developing any software? They are nothing but my requirement specification and what? System specifications. So requirement specifications, it will be always in terms of user requirements and system requirements. The same will be get elaborated more technically to get what? The system requirements. Once the system specifications have been defined, we will start our design. So once my design is get, um, means architecture, models, system models, everything will be get defined, we will go for what? A detailed design. Once my design is uh, perfect, then I will converting that design into what? Coding. So here we will start writing a program unit by unit or component by component or what? Module by module, okay. So after finishing every module or component or a unit of that particular program that will be get tested and that is called as what? A unit testing, okay. So when I will combine more than one unit or module or components, we will be getting what? A subsystem, okay. Then we will integrate those subsystems and a testing will be done. When more than one system will, subsystem will be get combined, I will get what? A system. Then the system integration testing will be done as a system as a whole. Once my overall system is working fine, then just now try to recall our previous discussion, it will be given for what? Acceptance testing. Acceptance testing means what? Here the customer will start um, checking that particular system with his own real time data. Then if the services and functionalities given by the software are fulfilled as per the expectation of the customer, then we, uh, it will pass that acceptance testing. Then it will start providing what? The services, okay. And the very important theme of this particular diagram is concerned. If you observe here, see there, uh, throughout this particular diagram is concerned, we will be having some sort of plans here. Okay, so for to perform this uh, subsystem integration testing, inputs are coming from what design level. You can observe see here, inputs are coming from what design level. From that design level, I will make a plan for what subsystem integration, and it will be done. Okay, then after subsystem integration testing, I I need to perform what system integration testing. For that, the inputs are coming from where? See there, my system specification and what? System uh, design. 
inputs are coming. So here we are going to make what a plan of system integration uh, testing plan. Once my, once my system integration will be done, then I will go for what the acceptance testing here. So for acceptance testing, see there what are my inputs? My inputs are requirement specifications and what system specification. So my acceptance testing plan will be done and acceptance test will be done here. So it means that for the acceptance testing, my inputs are coming from what? The requirements. What are requirements? Requirements are nothing but what? The services and functionalities which have been defined uh, for the purpose of what? The customer. So that will be checked over in the acceptance testing. Then what is the output here? Services. How the services the software should provide? They should always meet what? the requirements specification which have been defined in the first stage. So that we have to remember um, always. So this is the uh, way of what understanding this particular uh, diagram and very popularly known as what uh, this a verification and validation uh, uh, model which is concerned. Okay. Thank you.